If you want to know how to look up your Medicare provider number using the PICO system, watch this tutorial. Behind me on the screen, everything starts here at the Medicare Identity and Access website. If you don't already have a login or you're not sure, go ahead. I'll put the link to this website down below. Try to log in or create a new account. If you start to create a new account and it tells you that there's already an account associated with your social security number, that is likely because somebody else has created an account for you, possibly a previous employer. What you'll need to do is you'll need to regain access to that website because this is your personal information. So if you click on the help option at the top right, and then you click on contact EUS page, you'll find the contact information, toll free number, you can give them a call, they're very helpful. They will help you regain access to your login on the website. Once you have access, if you look here on the bottom right, you can see the PICOS website link and you can see the NPPES website link. NPPES is where you'll go to find your NPI number and update appropriate information. PICOS is where you'll go to find your Medicare provider number. This is the PICOS website. It looks almost the same as the Medicare Identity and Access website, but it is different. You're gonna log in. Each of the three websites have separate logins. I'm gonna go ahead and submit for my verification code. Once I get my activation code, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. And now this is gonna bring me to the PICOS website. And you can see here, Medicare enrollment. You're gonna click on my associates. Now I do a lot of enrollments for a lot of other therapists. So you're gonna see a lot of other names listed here on my account. But for you, you're only gonna see your personal name listed. You'll scroll down, you'll click on my enrollments or view enrollments. You'll scroll down, you'll see your enrollments listed here under existing enrollments. Now, this is where you're going to find your current Medicare ID numbers. You can click view Medicare ID report. And you can see here it's blurred, but I've got two listed for total therapy solutions. That is my company. It's got the business MPI. It tells you what the effective date is from 2006 to 2014. And then we've got a new one here from September 2011 to current. This is the PTAN for the receiving Medicare ID, and this is the PTAN for the reassigning Medicare ID. Another way you can choose to find your Medicare PTAN is once you've logged into the PICO system, on the far right, you can see additional resources. You'll click on Medicare ID search. This is where you're going to type in your first name, your last name, the state, and you're going to type in your personal MPI. If you're not sure, you can go to the MPI registry. You can type in your first name, your last name, and the state you're looking for. This is all public information. And so you can see here now I've got my personal MPI. I'll take that. I'll come back to the um, Medicare ID lookup tool. I'll do a search. And now you can see I've got two Medicare PTAN listings. One has been deactivated. The other one is currently active. And so here is where I have my Medicare provider number, which is blurred out. And then if you look here, show associated member information, it gives you the information for my group and other associates. So that's it. It's a really simple process. You can look it up within a couple minutes if you have access to your Medicare INA account and your PICOS account. If you don't have access to those accounts, you need to regain access to those accounts so that you can protect your personal information. I do encourage you to go in once a year at least, make sure that all the account information is accurate, the addresses, the telephone number, and make sure that you don't have any existing reassignments that are no longer active. If you're not working for an outpatient private practice, you should deactivate any previous existing enrollments. Guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. I hope this helps. Wish you the best for 2024.